my friends, welcome to another episode of MTD CNC, and thank you for tuning in. Today I have with my with me my good friend Ken, and Ken is with Hermele USA. Now Hermele is a fantastic machine, German made. I've been over to the facility many many times for open houses. Some wonderful people there, kind of family oriented. The whole company, fantastic people. So Ken, I just want to say thank you for being a part of MTD CNC well, and sharing welcome. your story. Thank you. You're quite so, welcome. So let's talk about Hermelay a little bit now. It's a, I mean, I know it fairly well, and it is one heck of a machine. But if you wouldn't mind explaining a little bit about where Hermelay fits best and how the Hermelay technology is really advanced for some of the people who might be interested in investing in one. Well, Hermla builds virtually vertical trunnion machines, five-axis machines. We build from a small machine to a large machine. Our smallest machine, if you look on the board up here, is our C12, which our largest machine is a C62. Hermla builds actually two different uh, segments of machines. We have our high-performance line and our performance line. The, the two machines are very, very similar. They share components. Uh, same controls are available in most of the product. Uh, RPM spindles and such. But it's all of our machines are five axis. Some of the product that we do build, we will offer it as a three axis machine. But the market knows us as a five axis builder. Uh, we've been building this design machine since 1995. It's gone through a couple generations. Uh, very well respected in the market, uh, performs quite well, has a very good reputation. I agree with all of that. So if I'm in the five axis world of, well, what do I buy next? There's, since the 90s, early 2000s, the five axis machines have started to gain in popularity, right? Exactly. So now if I'm Hermelay, if I'm you, and it has gained in popularity, where do you guys stand out to make me go, that's the machine I need? Well, I think where we stand out is accuracy and rigidity. Uh, the other interesting thing with Hermla is they are a manufacturer, where a lot of machine tool builders today are more of an assembly house. So everything that we do, we do under one roof virtually to the point where we actually even pour our own mineral bases. Up to the C52 and below, all our machines are mineral-based construction. The benefit of that is the thermal stability and the vibration dampening effect. But all are a modified gantry design. X, Y, and Z in the tool, A and C in the part. Where the fourth and fifth axis are an integral part built into the base of the machine. Where other machine tool builders, this becomes more of a, an add-on, an uh, erector set, let's call it, versus from the construction up. We build our own uh, own spindles, we build our own tables, uh, we machine all our own castings. Everything is done primarily in-house. I would personally find that to be important if I was looking into buying a machine, knowing, and I've been to that incredible facility, as I mentioned earlier, in Germany, seeing what you guys do there. But if I'm in the market to look at a machine, and I know you're doing everything under one roof, I would imagine my lead times would be shorter. I'd imagine the parts are going to match up more often because they're coming from the same place, the same manufacturer, let's say. Well, it's controlled. Yeah, you know? all of it's controlled, right? Yes, definitely, which is, which is very important. As I said, we're, today a lot of machine tool builders buy sub-assemblies from different parts of the, could be parts of the world. They put this puzzle together, put their name on it, and shuffle it out the door. Everything is done under one roof here. So very good control. Yeah, and, and that's definitely uh, showcased in a lot of the Hermley videos as well. I've seen Eiffel Towers. I've seen the giant bull, which you guys yeah. have given a name for many years Fritz, now. People rub its head. Fritz the bull. We've done, we've done the eagle. The eagle, this eagle that's here, right. This is a small replica of it. The original eagle was such... Yeah, and the original is beautiful, and it's just made with such precision just to continually yeah. follow up with what you guys are saying um, with that type of precision. And again, you know, there's not many customers that are going to buy our machine to make an eagle. I would. All right, we'll sell you <laughs> one. But when you can see what you can do with the machine, the capability of the machine, that's what we show when we do these uh, open houses and, and come up with some demos. 
We actually offer uh, turning capability on three of our products. That was going to be my segue, so perfect timing. So even, so there's a lot of, you know, five axis machines out there that can make five axis moves. But you guys are really unique in that turning aspect. Yes. To see that five axis spin in a circle as fast as it does, it blows my mind sometimes. I mean, the, the true benefit of the five axis is being able to do as much with one clamping as possible. Yes. Every time you refix through that part, there's potential for failure. So there are parts that require turning and milling. So here we're able to take care of both processes with one clamping. And automation is definitely something you guys do as well automation, as we continually move deeper and deeper into that world. Right now, probably better than 40% of the machines that we're selling have some sort of automation on it. Automation is huge for us. And you see it throughout the world because it's hard to get people uh, lights out capabilities and such. Hermla builds all of their own automation systems also. Wow, it's, it's impressive, Ken. So we're looking at, you know, history of a great machine. You guys have been around for a while now. You've, you know, continually perfecting what you do. We talked about rigidity. We talked about precision. Thank you so much for sharing your story and wisdom with MTD CNC and sharing it with our global audience. You're welcome. Thank you for the opportunity.